Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Friday Night Roguelikes. Today we're playing Morphosi. Morphosi. Uh, I know nothing about this game. Unidot Studio presents. Turn that down a little bit. Uh huh. Timothy, you alright? This boy's cute. You seem kind of down. Huh? I'm doing fine. It's just this forest. It kind of creeps me out. You sure this is the right way? It's been taking a while. Oh, Timothy, you're such a worry wart. Trust in me, all right? I know where I'm going. All right. Speaking of that, you know anything about where we are right now? No, how would I? I was reading this urban legend a while back. They call this place Morphosi or something like that. Morphosi? Metal Gear? Rumor says there's a mysterious entity that lurks within these woods. Yet people always report seeing something different. Every sighting is some randomized abomination. <laughs> uh, I kill myself. Not literally, I find myself amusing. Uh, one even said it chased their friend down and consumed them whole. Ooh. So you took us through these woods with a bunch of different monsters roaming about. No, no, not a bunch of monsters, just one. It's believed that all these different sightings are one monster randomized. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Sorry, Tim. It's trying to cheer you up a bit. Anyway, you want to listen to some tunes? No, you fool, you looked away. That means you die. Immediately. Mm, yeah. Okay. John, what are you doing? Analyzing the situation. Your conclusion? The car is most definitely broken. Was that not apparent enough for you? Sorry, you're right. I really messed this one up. What should we do? My phone isn't getting any signal. Oh. Hmm. So I picked this game up off of Itch.io. Um, look at that. There's a mansion in the forest. This is how every fucking horror movie starts. This is... Okay, here's the thing, right? This is how Rocky Horror Picture Show shart, starts. Sharts. It's how Rocky Horror Picture Show starts. Rocky Horror is a parody of horror movies. It's it's the onus is upon you to be better than the parody. You don't have any other choice. Fair enough. It's gonna be a fucking vampire in there. See, keep some lo cloves of garlic on you. Loaf of garlic is acceptable too. What is taking him so long? John said he was gonna go talk to the owner, and he never came back. I should probably go check on him. Oh, we're on the arrow keys. Z. Okay. Including hiding in chests. Oh, that's weird. So chests are not loot. They're a hiding place. Save. Okay. The perspective is really weird. Okay. What the hell? John? Alright, we're moving. Let's, uh... Let's take a little break. Let's analyze the situation. Yeah, so these are walls, but the perspective is so weird it feels like they should be another piece of the floor. Like, I'm only actually able to walk on the pink parts. Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> oh, is that drain? Oh, the darkness drains my sanity. Pardon me, sir. It makes little noises when it comes near as well. Neato. And I guess that's there in case I got hurt by that. Okay, cool. I blundered into that one. But first, 
Okay, um, so we've got, um, spheres. Blobs, I suppose. And I... Okay, so this one appears to move in a little... In a little rotation here. So, randomly generated survival horror. That's pretty neat. What about this way? And it looks like you always come out whenever you go, wherever you go in. And then he gets bored, I guess. Well, this place looks nice. I feel very safe here. The idea of chests being not loot in a game, like in general, but like especially in a roguelike, is really kind of funny to me. They really just give up. Like, it's not even that they just like believe, because normally the idea in a stealth game is that they believe you have fled the area. But here they just kind of get bored and give up. Kind of weird. Pretty effectively scary game, though. Timothy. Timothy. Hmm? The power of Mofosi has been awaiting you. What? At first, I thought that that was me. That that was the other guy. Uh-huh. shit that's so cool so that's not just that's not just sanity that's also monster meter uh huh Am I... Hmm. At first I thought it was just sanity. But it looks like it might be both. This is a really cool game. Random generated horror, huh? Oh, that kills me. What is your deal, man? I don't know what that thing is. Actually, wait. Let's see what happens when we die. Yep, okay, cool. One moment, everyone. Let me just... I just want to listen to this. Well, it certainly sounds creepy. Turn it down a little more. Man, that's a... Uh... This is a cool video game. Mm-hmm. Locked. Wait, don't I have a key? So what triggers him? We're getting into it now, huh? Oh, jeez. You can see monsters at, like, the edges of your vision, and that's a really cool effect. Okay, so my sanity only... My, my meter... I don't even want to call it a sanity meter anymore, because it's really not. My meter goes up in light, goes down in darkness, 
It goes down quick while I'm in, like, blackness. And also while I'm in monster form. I kind of want to watch this guy and see what he does. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I'm recording this in the same burst that I did uh, last week's episode with. The lighting is fantastic, I want to say. The way that the pixel lights go in and out is really good. Uh-huh. Okay, so he just goes to... S they're deaf. That spooks me a little bit. Hey, cool. Now, I hope I haven't gone in a circle because it feels like I have. Oh, key. Cool. Neat. So having this is this is a this is an excellent thing for any up, up and coming game developers, having um, pixel art for the sake of an easy uh, easy production, alongside traditional art allows the player to get a much better view of a character. Cool. So they can like warp. Locked. Great. Okay. Jesus, man. Okay. I wonder what those are playing. I'm really curious. I might be able to like just crack open the Oh, interesting. Pardon me, sir. This is really cool. I really like this. This is really cool. All right. All right. Coolio. I'm going to take a little break here. One moment, everyone. Hey, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Right. Does not require wads. Uses the arrow keys. Oh, hello. Let's see, huh? Okay, so they kill me in four hits. Okay, so now... Start immediately going this way. Aha, you can't travel through the gaping portals. Only I can. I really want to see if I can find that in the game's files. See, I was kind of hoping that being a monster would permit, um, like, defense of some kind. Okay, so it looks like this monster, the monster that spawns there, only attacks whenever it's pitch black. Which makes sense. It's a pretty standard monster thing.
fuck. That is so fucking creepy. And so cool. Pardonnez-moi, sir. Alright, so will this take me to... Beds? Alright, cool. This is a very creepy game. I really like this. It's, uh, it's sparing with its jump scare, which is nice. It doesn't go, like, completely nuts out with it. Okay, so we looped around back to the beginning. I don't think I ever went up this way. Oh, she's chasing me, huh? Ha-ha! I am smarter than ghosts. So I'm really not sure of, like, the... How do I put this? Like, the point of this game, I suppose? Because in most roguelikes, it's like, hey, go through the dungeon. But here, it's like, look for my boyfriend, I guess. Right. It wasn't the guy. Had to be the guy. Oh, where is she? Shit, man. All right, I'm gonna, just going to cluster up in here. Oh, she, the way that she just winks out is pretty cool. Whoops. All right, one moment. I'm going to look around off camera. Hey, so um, this is kind of awkward, but uh, I've just learned that this game actually isn't a roguelike. Um, so yeah, I downloaded this with like intent to be like, hey, Friday Night Roguelikes, everyone. Um, and I've accidentally done that thing where I just like highlight an indie game that's not a roguelike. And like, that's fine. You know, this is a very well-made game, and uh, I took a look at the guy's Twitter. Um, Unidot Games, I believe. And uh, they're really cool. And they share a lot of fan art of the characters of Morphs Morphosy. However, um, yeah, this isn't a roguelike. Um, so on the merit of it being a roguelike, it's not very good because it's not randomly generated. Um, I don't know how I ended up downloading this because it's not a roguelike. But yeah, as a video game, it's very good. Very effectively creepy. But yeah, nothing I can find says that it's a roguelike. So, um, whoops. That, uh, that's why we have the short episode. Um, so yeah, uh, big oops from me. Very sorry. Uh, I hope no one minds. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This was supposed to be Friday Night Roguelikes, but it was just a Friday Night other game genre. But yeah, um... Game's good. You should definitely go find it. Unidot Games. Follow them on Twitter. See you guys next time. Bye.